This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba for another technical diving tips, techniques, and trips video. There's no shortage of videos on YouTube on how to make scuba tank racks. These types of tank racks are used to prevent tanks from rolling around, usually in the back of a vehicle. They are commonly constructed of PVC piping and pool noodles. In this video, we're going to talk about a PVC tank rack design that can be used for aluminum 80s, aluminum 40s, or a combination of aluminum 80s and aluminum 40s without adjustment and can be rolled up and secured to itself in a compact format. For this particular version of the PVC pipe tank rack, you will need a couple of materials. I used one 10 foot piece of PVC pipe with a two inch diameter. You can buy these in pre-cut sections of two feet, but if you buy it in one piece, it's much cheaper. You will also need approximately 10 feet of shock cord. You can use 3 16 or 1 quarter inch diameter. You will need a couple of tools to complete the project. The first is either a power or cordless hand drill. The second is a 5 16 inch drill bit. A tape measure or a ruler would also be helpful, but not essential. The first step is to cut the PVC pipe into approximately two foot sections. In the first and last sections of PVC pipe, drill one hole all the way through two inches from either end. In all the middle sections, drill two sets of holes, one set two inches and one set four inches from the end of the pipe. Cut several sections of 12 inches of shock cord. Tie a simple overhand knot over one end of each of the sections of shock cord. Put one section of shock cord through either end of the first PVC pipe section. Put the loose end of the shock cord sections through section number two of the PVC pipe. You want to use the outer holes so that the sections are parallel. The length of the shock cord between the two pieces of PVC piping is critical. If you want to use the tank rack for both AL80s and AL40s, the spacing should be approximately three to four inches. For the second and third pipe sections, you want to use the inner holes and put the bungee through and do the same procedure that you did with sections one and two of the PVC pipe. Continue alternating the holes on the PVC pipe until you have the desired number of sections of pipe. In this case, I'm going to stop with four sections of pipe that can hold three tanks on the first layer. If the length of the shock cord is the correct length between the sections of PVC pipe, the tank rack will hold both AL80s and AL40s under tension. This will prevent any horizontal movement or sliding of the tanks. If longitudinal movement is an issue, a small piece of non-skid tape can be applied to the PVC piping. An additional advantage of using the shock cord uh, in this design is that the same sections of shock cord can also be used to stow the tank rack system. This is accomplished by rolling up the sections of PVC piping and wrapping one of the bungees around another section of PVC pipe. This works best if you have an odd number of sections such as three pipes, five pipes, or seven pipes. In this case, I only have four, so it does not wrap up as neatly as it could if I had five sections. One question that may come up is why did I not just use two pieces of shock cord? with a top and bottom set of holes. This is because it's somewhat easier to adjust the shock cord length in order to get the correct sizing for both AL80s and AL40s. Another question that might come up is why did I not use pool noodles? And the reason for that is I was interested in a more durable, longer lasting solution. This is Chris with Dive Zone Scuba. 
I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching. Please subscribe.